Hello YouTube, this is Chesco from STEM APKs. Welcome to part two of the tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to finish where we left off. Uh, as you remember, we were downloading the, the SDK manager um, packages for your specific uh, phone version. And as you can see, mine finished downloading. So now we're going to close this, the SDK uh, manager. If you remember, this is this little Android right here. This is how you get it. And if you remember, I, I told you, you got to let uh, Android know where your SDK, you got to give it uh, a path to that SDK. If you do not give it that path to your SDK, this box will not appear. It's going to tell you that it cannot find the SDK. So you got, it's up to you to let it know where it is. Okay. And like I, I, I explained to you in the last tutorial, I created a file. Android with the bundles that I uh, downloaded from from uh, Android from the Android website and also the Android uh, OpenCV with the files that I downloaded from OpenCV for Android. Okay, so that's where we are. So now we we have only this one that we imported. Remember in the last uh, tutorial. And there's nothing here. There's just uh, the libraries. There is no, as you can see, there is no. This is our just the, the library, okay? So we need to test to make sure that everything is working properly. So the way we do that in Android is we go here and we going to create a new Android application project, okay? I'm gonna say next, and we're gonna call it test, okay? Uh, let's call it test. And let's call it uh, com exam com ch chesco text chesco tutorials test. That's the package name, and the minimum is uh, two point two. I have two point three three, so that's go that's good. And target is four four, which is the Nexus seven that I'm using, so that's fine. And the theme that's fine. Next, uh, you can leave the defaults in this one. It looks good. Now here you can leave the defaults. Looks good. Yep, if you can leave the defaults. And main activity layout. Yep, looks good. Okay, so hopefully no errors, and there are no errors. Okay, and this is showing you what uh, what it will look like on your on my Nexus Seven, or if you if you're using whatever phone that you're using. Okay, and this is what it's telling. It is giving you a graphical layout of what it will look like. If you want to see the XML file, you just click on here, and it's going to show you. It's going to give you the text view. This is what is actually appearing on it. As you can see, there's a a hello world uh, variable. If you go to this menu, let me show you. So, if you go here to strings and you open the X strings XML, you're gonna find a hello world string. Okay, that hello world string is this hello world string. You see it right here. And if you open it, if you look at it to to see what is the value inside that string is hello world. And that is exactly what you see in here. Hello world. Okay? That's where it's, that's that's how it that works. Okay? So let's uh run it uh to make sure that uh, everything is working. Um let's run it on the Android application. And as you can see here, I have Logcat enabled, so it's going to show here. You're going to see it here, all messages, no filters, and you can see that it's running. Okay, obviously you cannot see it on my, you cannot see my, my Nexus 7, but you can see that it's actually uh, working. As you can see, it's working right here. Okay, so so we we got we know that Android is working. So now let's test OpenCV and uh, the OpenCV libraries that we imported from OpenCV.org. So the way we're going to do that to make sure that these libraries are working is we're going to 
uh, first of all let's import um, actually let's let's import the libraries in, the, in that package let's do that first let's go here and let's go Android from no let's do it different before we do that let's do it here properties and go to Android and you're going to add a library as you can see here that's the projects and libraries you're going to add a different library this is the one these two are this one for the Nexus 7 but now you're gonna add a new one and you're gonna add that one okay it's that one right there we already imported it to make it easy on, on Android to find it so now we're gonna say okay so now we're gonna apply and now we're gonna hit OK and uh, hopefully no errors so it looks good so it, it already imported it into that project okay so it's, it's in that package uh, explorer section okay so now before let me close this and let's close this and now let's test the OpenCV the way we can do that is by opening one of the samples that came with uh, with OpenCV and the way you can go let's let's do it here you go here Android project from existing code hit next and then you're gonna browse we're gonna go to that file that I created and remember this was Android OpenCV that's what we imported from OpenCV.org and we're gonna go into samples okay so it's just uh, your fo home file the file that you folder that you created the SDK where where that you extract it and then you're going to go into the samples folder okay and you're gonna pick one tutorial it doesn't matter which one I'm gonna pick that one tutorial camera preview and say finish and as you can see it imported it. it's right there okay and if you go in here you're gonna look at it and actually I got uh, the permissions let me show you I might already have the permissions set up but I want to show you just in case you don't have permissions set up let me show you how to do this if you want to show permission uh, change permissions for, for you to be able to use the camera go into your file whether it's this one this one I think the permissions are set up already yeah they are already but in just in case let me do it on this one that is not set up yet so you know how to do it in this one the permissions are already set up but that's not gonna help you if you don't know how to do it so let's do it on this one that is not set up as you can see the permissions are not set up so you go into here this is what the Android manifest file looks like this is these are the intents that makes the phone do stuff the activities and the application okay that's the the heart of the application and here are the permissions uses SDK it tells it what version of phone that you're using as a minimum and which one is your target okay 19 is the target and the minimum is version 8 which is I think is 2.2 uh, Android version 2.2 okay but we we're going to add a different uh, an, another permission to make sure that we are able to use the camera so we're gonna go into here permissions click on it okay and go into add and we're gonna go into uses permission hit okay and then we're gonna look for the permissions here are all the permissions you're gonna see here Bluetooth if you want to use Bluetooth uh, privilege capture video capture audio secure video you got everything you need Wi-Fi anything that you want your phone to do you gotta let it uh, Android know right here okay so this is the one that we're interested in right now to add the camera permission so we're gonna say yes you don't have to put the max just leave it blank and just make sure you save it because if it has an asterisk here that means it hasn't been saved so just save it and you, see, you can see the asterisk went away so now you go back to the Android manifest and you can see that the camera permission was added 
you can see it wasn't there before now it is okay so now let's run it to run it just right click on it and find run us android application and as you can see it's running and you cannot see my my nexus 7 but you can see that it's actually running you can see the frames per second being being uh, uh, projected there and you can see that it's working okay so we know that the android works we know that the OpenCV libraries are working everything's working properly so we're, we're set up for the next set of tutorials uh, this is the end of the tutorial if you run into trouble or if you have any questions you can shoot me an email I'm, I'm, I'm putting all of the um, the description video uh, instructions and uh, but you can always shoot me a, a video uh, uh, not a video an email okay but like always, if you like this tutorial, please uh, click the like box and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.